Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to make this awesome decoupage mirror. It's so easy and how beautiful does it look? You could give this to anyone as a gift or make it for yourself. Okay, so you will need a small mirror, a compact size mirror is good. This is about 10 centimetres by 10 centimetres. You'll need a few different sheets of papers. These are decoupage papers, but you can use anything from wrapping paper to scraps of paper that you've got at home. Some cardboard, this is approximately an A4 sheet, but really you can do any size you like. Some scrap pieces of cardboard, these are about 10 centimetres by 10 centimetres, but again, it really doesn't matter, just whatever you've got lying around. A pencil, a paintbrush, some scissors, some really strong glue, this is hard as now, super, super strong and a small pot of PVA glue, the white school glue that you get. And that's everything you need. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we've gotta stick a mirror to our piece of cardboard. So we need some really strong, strong glue. So we've got this hard as nails. And all we're gonna do is just squeeze a load across, uh, probably like about a centimetre in, and then we're just going to place it in the centre. Now, if you really wanted to, you could work out the exact centre by making a ruled line across from corner to corner, but you know, I'm happy just make, doing it by eye, it's fine. So, we're just going to give that a little press down, and that's it. So, that's your mirror ready to go. Then the next stage, we're going to bring in our scraps of cardboard. And what we want to do is, because you can see that the mirror is slightly raised up from the surface, we want to just make some different levels and this will create a bit of interest in the mirror. So what I'm going to do, using the scissors, I'm just going to cut some strips. Now, you could, again, you could be really, really... Um, you know, measure everything out really perfectly if you wanted to, but I don't feel there would need to do that. But if you wanted to, that's absolutely fine. I'm just gonna cut a few strips out of the cardboard, like that. And then what we're gonna do is just start placing them around the central frame. So we're just gonna see what looks good. See, I think that looks really cool. And what we'd need to do is probably just cut a few more just to make the level a little bit higher. So I'm going to cut another three pieces there. And really, this is just an example design. As with all my projects, you can do whatever you like. It's completely and utterly up to you. This is an example of a design but you're the artist so you make up whatever you want to do and place this one on top of there so i think that's looking really cool i like that design there you could add other things in the design so i'm going to cut some strips and maybe just place maybe one there and one there i think that looks nice yeah so now I'm going to glue it all together and I'm going to use this hard as nails, this really super strong glue because I just want it to, first of all I want it to set really quickly and it's just going to be easier. So I'm going to use this one but you could use the PVA for this, that would be fine. So I'm just going to press down each piece, and put a little bit of glue on there and then press that piece down there, so a bit of glue there, stick it down. So easy, this is really good. So this is good for any age, you could do this with children and adults, any age group is good for this. So just press that down and that's it. So now we'll just go over everything and just make sure it's all stuck down nicely. So give it all good press all around. and make sure everything's in the right place now because that's going to dry in that place. So make sure you're happy with where everything is. 
I like to make sure that say that distance and that distance are quite similar, that distance and that distance is quite similar and that's brilliant. So I'm happy with that. So that's the basic mirror frame done there. So now we get to decorate it. So I'm gonna get all this out of the way and I'm gonna bring in all my lovely papers. Now with these, I've got six designs here. You can have four designs, that's fine, but don't have any more than six because then it will be a bit too chaotic. Um, and really, it's just completely up to you how you want to design it. You, what you can do is you can cut pieces. So you can cut, say, squares if you wanted to and have squares going all the way around. Or you could, do, you could actually tear the paper. So that gives a nice effect. So you've got this kind of rough edge and everything is torn. It's really up to you. It's just how you want to decorate it. And then what I'm going to do is just cut a few squares of each of the different colours ready in preparation. It's really good to have all your pieces ready and cut before you start sticking anything down. So I'm going to do about, oh, I don't know, about 20, 25 different squares, about five of each colour. Let's just say that, but again, it's up to you. So let's just cut all those out in preparation. Okay, so that's my last little pile. So now I've got all my little piles of papers ready. I've got my PVA here and I've got my paintbrush, so I'm ready to get decorating. So, first of all, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cover about a third of the mirror with glue. So we're just gonna paint it all on this white PVA. Let's just give it a nice coat. And it can be really thick. Doesn't matter how much you use. The only thing is, is if you use a lot of glue, obviously it's going to take longer to dry than if you only spread a tiny bit. But I think it's better to put more on so you get a nice effect. Right, so that's that. So we've done about a third there. So now really it's just your creativity. Let it flow. Think about what you want to do, where you want to put each piece. I'm going to start in the top left hand corner just because it feels natural. And then you're just gonna, you're almost making a paper sandwich. So you're putting glue down first, then you're putting the paper down, and then you're putting the glue on top. And you can see that the more you press down, the more times you go over with the paintbrush, you're soaking the paper in and it's pressing over that little piece of cardboard there. So you can start seeing it come out. You can start seeing it. This is called, in artist terms, it's called being in relief. All right, so then we're going to do the next piece. I'm going to put this lovely little bird picture. I love this. What? How lovely is that paper? So gorgeous. So you can put these anywhere. I'm going to put this next one here, and I'm going to just fold it, because this bit is a little bit higher. I'm just going to fold it in there and press it before I start putting more glue on the top. And then I'm ready to put some more glue. And so you want to just keep going round, choosing your different papers, putting them next to each other, seeing what looks good, going round the whole mirror. And that's it, really. Just have loads of fun with it, deciding where you want to put each piece. So when you get to this stage, you'll see that there'll be tiny little holes that start appearing. And you can just cut little tiny pieces and stick them over and that's when it starts looking really beautiful. Let's just stick that down there. And there's another long bit here so we can just cut that. And then I've got some glue there. Stick that over the top. And it just looks starts looking really gorgeous. Right, so we just do this last little corner. I think I'm gonna put a bit of yellow on it. A bit longer piece, that'll be good. Just cut that to size and I think maybe a bit of green there and a tiny bit of yellow on that last bit. 
right, so there you go. You're all finished. And all you need to do now is just leave it to dry for a couple of hours and it'll have a really beautiful glossy finish and you're done. And there you go, so we've left it to dry for a couple of hours and how beautiful does it look? You can see it's got this really nice, lovely sheen to it, so you don't even need to varnish it. And there you go, all finished. How beautiful, make a beautiful gift.